Okay, what I have on my workbench today is a uh, Compaq SR1650NX computer that I'm booting up here. And this one I've um, set up with a dual boot and kind of an experimental. I have Windows XP Professional, which is actually um, Windows uh, Media Center that I put on there and then Microsoft Neptune so I wanted to show you Microsoft Neptune so we're gonna boot that up this was a um, operating system that Microsoft was working on in the era time between Windows 98 SE and Windows XP uh, they had Windows 2000 and Windows ME during that time but you can see this one it says under construction and it's starting up and it goes through this screen repairing network connections and you'll see different things in here it'll mention Windows uh, uh, 2000 and you got Microsoft Neptune here and it has the report of bug because this was a beta version that never made it to the commercial market so it's kind of an unusual operating system and some people run it as on um, uh, as um, virtual machine, uh, but this one I actually was able to install it onto this older Windows XP computer. Um, so if we kind of look around here, you can see when you hit the start here, it comes up with this Microsoft Neptune on the side, and going up here to control panel and down to system you see it says uh, Windows 2000 and then comments and you can click on that and it gets in a comment but I don't think it'll work anymore um, you can see that it this is a AMD 64 it's an Athlon uh, processor and it's got 1.5 gigs of RAM this is version uh, 5.111, which is the one uh, that's available to download online if you want to try this on your own. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't successful on getting everything working. You heard the sound come up when, on the start screen, but um, I couldn't get the um, um, video card to, to be recognized. This operating system was a beta version, so there wasn't a lot of things made for it. I was able to get some of the uh, drivers working with Windows 2000 drivers, but this is kind of a mishmash of uh, operating systems in it. Um, but uh, you can see some different things. So that's different there. Uh, I got the uh, LAN, LAN card working the Ethernet, so it does go online here using uh, this is uh, what is this this is Internet Explorer 5.5 so I have it hooked up to a LAN a wired internet connection and one of the things that was uh, they're working on with this is something called activity centers and these are um, were meant to be uh, like task based interface involved a group of applications focusing on a different area of functionality. Uh, they group common, common tasks together on a, in a web-based interface. So each of these things here, there's photo and then it has all these different um, things you could do. Get pictures from your camera, uh, your crop images there. Um, you can see it there. But, so that's activity centers. And this one, I'm gonna go ahead and log out here. And it shuts down really quick. I know it doesn't have a restart option. It just turns off. So I'm gonna start the computer here again. You can see the compact startup screen here. And it's gonna go to the boot menu where I could choose. I'm gonna open up um, Windows XP Media Center Edition so you can see that. Uh, 
Okay, so we'll choose that. It says XP Professional because that Media Center Edition was kind of an enhancement to Windows XP Professional. So we'll start that up. I don't know if you've seen this operating system before, but it's got some really nice uh, uh, like uh, features in it. Um, this one, if we go, kind of giving it some time to get fully loaded. But the, the main thing with this is the this icon down here, Media Center. So you could watch and record TV, play DVDs, listen to music, watch digital videos, and run photo slideshows and, uh, by using Media Center. So it's kind of like a TiVo in a way. Uh, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. Pictures, videos, music, settings, play DVD, online spotlights so you can go online. Um, so uh, videos, I put a couple on here. So you just click on it. So you can come and see that one. the Rolling Stones Angie on there. I also have some um, music. So I put some MP3s on here. So it's kind of cool. And this was, I guess you, this computer came with a remote that you could use. And you could plug this into your TV and watch things off of your computer on the TV or record things from your TV onto the media center. So it's pretty cool. So I'm going to close that up. There we go. So there you go. That's my dual boot system, Windows XP Media Center Edition, and Microsoft Neptune.